What's up guys? We are doing a cool tour today with, look at these two. <laughs> I got Alex and Jenny from Terra X. This is their prototype van, I Demo guess? Van. Demo, Demo van. van. Project, Project van. Project van. Show van. We got it all, because it's gonna be like, uh, uh, this. I'm, I'm describing this van as like an adventure van that's a home. Yeah. Is that proper? Yeah. Luxury, adventure. Luxury adventure van with like, as, as a home. Yeah. Like you could definitely live out of this if needed. It is phenomenally well done. We're gonna take a look at all of that. By the way, if you guys are new to this channel, I do tours and vlog, but when I do tours, a little more real than a lot of other people out there. I'm behind the camera. I'm having a conversation with these lovely people and other people that I do. So let's get started with all of that right now. Hello, Alex. Hello, Jenny. Hello. Hi. How are we doing? Great. <laughs> we are in your shop right now. And where are we? In Vista, California. Okay, which is a suburb, I guess, of San Diego. Yeah, in between San Diego and Los Angeles. You guys are both wearing your uh, merch from your company. That's correct. Terra X. We were just at Tiny House or Tiny Fest California with me, which was fantastic. I didn't even get a chance to even come by you guys. You guys are that busy. Yeah, it was Very crazy. Busy. It was yeah. super busy. It was super awesome. And then you have this uh, shop pup. Yeah, that's Daisy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> she goes everywhere with you, right? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. You guys have a phenomenal build and we're in the back of the van for a reason because I think this is one of the best show parts of the van. And by the way, I don't know if you guys can see behind Jenny, they've got Fest tools and no, we're not sponsored by them. Neither are you guys. No. No. Love to be. I would love, yeah, who wouldn't love to be? But it's like harder to get than that too. Oh, <laughs> really? <laughs> you have a Fest and a Mercedes banner and a Festool banner. Oh my goodness. And a uh, Miller banner. Alex likes his banner. <laughs> and a, and a, banner. a Victron banner. And by the way, you guys aren't sponsored by any of these people, are you? You guys just want to show off the good products. Yeah. The reason I brought up Festool is because anybody that's a carpenter that works with um, woodworking or any of that nature, they know that Festool is by far the best. It's the Mercedes Benz of tools, yeah. I guess, or Rolls Royce or yeah. something. Because yeah. yeah, you guys were furniture builders before before you got into van building. Yeah, he was. He, you he were, is. yeah. I'm well, you worked with him a little bit. Yeah, I worked with him. <laughs> so you and you've been I guess handy with your hands whether it's building a van or doing doing furniture for how long now? Um, over 20 years. 20 years? I'm a structural engineer and a furniture maker by trade so yeah over 20 years. You don't look that old man come on. <laughs> <laughs> Going to the back of the van which I feel like I just said was one of the most best parts of your van. Do you guys want to show off this whole back area because it's your power system and it's beautifully done and it's yeah. massive. Yeah. So kind of give me a breakdown. We use bed liner, we spray bed liner for the coating. It's all seamless and it's all sealed. All the corners are sealed with automotive sealants. We use bed liner because it's bulletproof, it's seamless. So we can literally throw our boards in there, uh, surfboards or anything wet and it's going to hold up. Then we're using Marler concept for to attach pouches. What we um, we made actually those and back now on there. You made the the grids. Yeah. Are those, what are they made out of metal? No, it's plastic. Oh, okay. It's plastic. I think what we are using is a correct Jenny. Yeah, yeah. Like this as an example, like the protection. Yeah. Get on in there, man. Come yeah, on, show me, man. This, yeah. So you unscrew this. Okay. By the way, they have a light in here, so this is the only reason why I can show this, because... Yeah, we do have a light, yeah. For those those times that you're out in the middle of nowhere, so, so, yeah. and you need to be, you need to see stuff. Yeah, it is. And this protects actually our electronics, but it's at the same moment a Mahler concept where we can attach pouches or whatsoever to it. You have a lot of electronics there. What is your amp hours? How, what's your uh, inverter size? Because you have a lot going on in there and this is impressive. Well, we have 400 amp hours of lithium. Uh, Which, we use Rely On batteries. We are super happy with it. I think you have... Rely I love Rely On, yeah. It's, yeah. it's a really good battery. We use most of the Victron products. Like we have the Victron charge controller, 2000 watt Victron inverter. Charger, inverter charger. Inverter charger, yeah. So you can plug these in, right? Your vans? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. It's not hooked up. We really don't use sure power at all. Oh, really? Yeah. You don't have to? We don't have to, but we, we can. Don't, we can, but what, we don't really do it. What's the solar on the roof? How many we panels? We have only 365 watts. Only. Yeah. Only. <laughs> Um, That's a lot, man. Yeah, I double that. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> it was too much almost. But no, it's 365. We are using LG residential panels. It's the new technology panel. Nice. Whatever. It's super good with efficiency rate. So they work great. And then we have the Sterling, the battery, the battery charger. So when the vehicle actually drives, so it's on the alternator charges the batteries as well. And I've been telling people those are the best on the market when it comes to DC to DC charging. Well, well. let me show you something. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, he's getting something. He just walked away from our tour. <laughs> Oh, Vic, Victron just Victron. come out. Yeah. It just came out with the Orion. You're welcome, Victron. Yeah, Jeez. you're welcome. It's the, it's the 12, 12, 30. We'll replace the Sterling. And the beauty of this Why are you doing that to me, man? I have a Sterling. I'm just kidding. Sorry, Sterling. <laughs> Sorry, Sterling. Hey, this just proves that we're not sponsored by anybody. Exactly. 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 No, but... Honestly, like if you ever program the Sterling, you're not going to like this device. It's it's so hard it's to a program. tough yeah, it's very tough it's to program. Any anybody we talk to, they're all saying the same thing. This, on the other hand, is all Bluetooth. You program it with your phone. It's super easy to see. Like it's just this is a game changer. You just it's, installed one in I our friend's van. In Marty's yeah, in Marty's van. Yeah, you just installed yeah, one yeah. For, uh, for Marty, yeah. The and only we, downside would be that's only a 30 amp. That's only 30 amp, but you can um, parallel only. wire two together. Oh, that and, one's a 60 amp. But you can parallel wire two together and you have your 60 amp. Yeah. Uh, 60 amps, yeah. And you have everything exposed. A lot of people put it in boxes, like even I put it in a box, but you guys expose pretty much everything. This is an opinion. One is, this is our show van. I want people to see how our, elect how our electronics are done right. our wiring so we can show it super easy but on the other hand we want to keep it a little bit open so it can breathe and then on top of that let's say something goes wrong with your electronics in mm -hmm. the back you can drive this to any shop an electrician certified electrician immediately can look at it it's super self explanatory um, what's the word <laughs> <laughs> self explanatory yes, yeah exactly yeah as you guys can probably tell english was not his first exactly. language <laughs> that's okay that's what I love about my channel. I'm gonna get in for a second if that's yeah. okay. Uh, you guys have these Max Tracks or whatever they are. Yeah. That's to get you guys, this is a four, by the way, I didn't even say what this van was. You guys tell me what it is. That's it's a, a 170 3500 Dually. XD. XD. Yeah. So, so it's extended? Not, not no, extended. XD stands for like, you can put more weight in it. Mm -hmm. That, so that's the Dually. It's a Mercedes right. chassis, the 170 Dually, like you said, yeah. XD. XD, XD, mm -hmm. yeah. Terra X style. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, that so it can hold a ton of weight. Although you guys are not that heavy. No, no, and no. everything's built super lightweight. Yeah. So we like. Yeah, I was gonna get now. into that. <laughs> I see the eighty twenty aluminum. I was gonna yeah. get into all that. Is a four by four? No, it's not. Do they make a dually four by four? Yeah, they, they do. We have actually one standing out. You do? They you have one outside. One. We don't have one. It's a client. It's a client. Oh it well, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. It is a yeah. client, right? Yeah. It's yeah. one of your next builds. It's in the process. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what are these yoga mats and just everything's just strung yoga up mat, here? Um, that's just our outdoor entry mat. So if you yeah. ever go anywhere where it's sandy, you realize you need that. This is so cool. And then obviously these will get you out of uh, sticky situations when yeah. it comes to being in sand or being in dirt, mud, whatever. Yeah. Got us out a couple of times. Has it really? Oh yeah. Yeah. Six, seven times. Awesome. We got this man stuck. So yeah. And you guys take this out adventuring. This is oh, your yeah. demo van, but you take it out. Like yeah. you, you guys go out and travel. I know that. Uh, you guys go out to various locations or wherever it may be, and you guys have fun, right? The van out. You have a heater, I believe, yep, that I'm going to call you out on. Is it the Wabasa or the S bar? The S bar, the D2. So this back area is heated. Pretty much. It gets warm a little bit from the heater. <laughs> Why do you have it heated back here? Why do you have it heated? Keep my batteries warm. Keep your batteries warm. I mean, I'm at, I know, but I want the audience, I want you to tell the audience. <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> so it's heated back here and then anything and the you, well yeah of course and and you have the ducting that goes to the front yeah, okay cool front. and then before we go inside you have this awesome cool thing uh contraption on the back of your van that's our outdoor shower yeah we've been showering with this device for about a year and a half now yep. it works like a chain is it propane yep, yep. We use, small propane we use this little thing right here that's it that's all you need for yeah, it you get about i would say between seven and ten showers out of it yeah out of that out of that little propane tank yeah Holy cow, we that's a lot. Very long showers, but you know, fair enough. Conservative, but yeah. Where's the? I I see the water. 
How does that all work? Because you actually have a really like interesting water system. Well, we don't have a large tank. We use in the, we carry individual tanks. Each of those water brick holds three and a half gallons. Okay. And the reason why we do that is because we do go a lot BLM and to all kinds of places. Sure. Like you know, there might be a nice river, mm -hmm. but nowhere else to fill up your tank. So we take these and fill them up in the river. Mm -hmm. And we have a filtration system in the inside, UV light and carbon filter. And then we actually can drink the water as well. So you're telling me your van is uh, extremely cheap to build. Is that what you're telling me? <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad they picked up on the sarcasm. <laughs> If you're traveling and you go into a grocery store, uh -huh. you yeah. can just take these and put them under the water system. Yeah, so the, the glacier just, stations, yeah, right? It yeah, it just makes it convenient. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you can yeah. find. And good drinking water. If you ever filled up at an RV park with mm -hmm. hose, you think oh, it's just... It tastes not so great. It's, <laughs> it's, no, it does not. <laughs> you said there were three gallons or three and a half gallons three each? Three and a half gallon, I think, is each. And if anybody knows uh, how much water weighs, it's about eight pounds per gallon. Oh, okay. So a lot of people will grab those five gallon jugs and they're, they're heavy. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, know, that's why that. you can carry that yes, easily, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. We can add and more, we can take out, we can, um, yeah. If we wanted to go on a long trip and we didn't have access to water, we could just load this whole thing full. Do you have a gray water system? Yeah. You do? It's Is that, under the vehicle. It's under the vehicle, yeah. okay. Yeah. So the only, so these will never freeze as well uh, in, in cold weather climates, mm -hmm. mainly because it's inside and you have a heater back here. Yeah. See I that? Mean, it all? Yeah. It, I mean, yeah, but you have it. I know you have both, but yeah. unbelievable. Uh, so that's why I was so impressed by the back. If you guys are ready, we're gonna show, you guys thought you the back was impressive? Let's get into the side and let's see what that's all about. Is that cool with you guys? Yeah. All right. They are branding like crazy. Look at that. <laughs> you know, Terra X can, van conversions. You can step in. Who, uh, you wanna do the table? Yeah, let's, yeah, right. the outside. Who, pick, who picked the color? Who was, who was uh, about the, the color schemes, I should uh, say? We designed together. We designed together. Okay. We've been doing it from the furniture business and we just worked and design well together. Okay, sounds good. Show me this table because I actually like it. The concept we came up with and this is it. That's it. That's it. A lot of people put these tables on like strings. Yeah, I didn't want the string though. Right. You just did a simple, we're going to move that over, down, call it a day. And I didn't want a hook there either to hook it. So this is what's called a friction hinge. Yeah. And it stays and that's how that is. That's super nifty. And then you even have an outlet out here. Yeah. You have more than one outlet. USB, cigarette lighter, and a AC outlet. Mm -hmm. So you can put your, uh, do you have an induction in here? I don't even know. Yeah, or we just have a instant pot that can go on there. Oh, there you go. Yeah. yeah. You have plenty of power to handle an induction if you want it, though. Oh, we know that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we did go, we do have a story for that one. Well, yeah, we were funny about this a little bit. Even with free power and solar, we still want to conserve power as much as possible. Sure. It's just something we like to do. And we got other ways how we can cook. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The propane stoves are not bad. I'm assuming that's what we you have. We have actually a diesel. Oh, you have a diesel? A Robusto. Yeah, Robusto cook. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know they had that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so That's pretty nifty. If you have a diesel nifty. powered van, you don't have to use your battery. So wait, you induction. tap into your diesel tank for your cooktop? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, my heater is tapped into my diesel. Yeah. yeah. The cooktop and the cooktop's the same thing? Yeah. Is your heater tapped into your diesel as well? Yeah. What? Yeah. All right, I'm just finding out these stuff <laughs> for the first time. I'm super excited. And you guys even have a little shoe, a little yeah. shoe thing. Yeah. Pretty nifty. All right. All right. So well, nice. thank you. I better be able to come in. <laughs> So, oof, this is super clean, super nice. I love it so much. This is Jenny. I feel like you made some design opinions or uh, options better than he did. I'm guessing. Ah, it's really a joint effort. Okay, I like it. I, it I really think, is. I think she pushed for the black on the walls, and I'm super happy about that right yeah. now. At first, I was a little bit against it. Okay, so you have this massive countertop behind you. Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, yeah, give me a, give me the lowdown. Yeah, so like we were just talking about, this is the Wabasso cooktop. It's, it's so, powered. yeah, I mean, my, I'm sure my lens is picking it up, but like it's so well done in there, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it's very recessed, yeah. yes. And then this is just a great counter space. This lifts up. What? Yes, so we have the second to the largest domatic fridge, and it's a, a fridge freezer. Look at that. You guys are ready for the weekend. Yeah. I believe you're going on a weekend trip right yeah, now. Yeah, so. you can put quite a bit in. It's all just um, dialed in with the temperature right there. Fridge freezer. Yeah. Okay. And then we have our uh, mirror that's needed. When we build it, we were like, where are we going to put the mirror? It's just, you're, you're <laughs> just get ready down here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I mean, seriously, this is something that a lot of people don't like realize. Like, we need to see ourselves sometimes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't even have a mirror because I don't like to see myself. But <laughs> awesome. How do you know the size of the whole counter? No, no. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's fine. This is 36 and then 30, about 66 inches. Like Very good. Five feet. <laughs> then we use um, sliding doors. I was going to actually <laughs> say that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all I said. Punching me in the rib. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're there, so we might as well talk about it. I actually was going to say, so it's good that he talked about it, because I was going to say, I was like, you guys did something differently in your upper cabinets that nobody else does. Yeah. yeah. Which is, he right. already showed. Sliding doors, <laughs> yes. And the reason being, multiple reasons. We we're trying to build extremely lightweight, mm -hmm. so we're able to use quarter inch for the doors. Awesome. As well as reduce any kind of mechanisms that could break, so no hinges. Awesome. And you, like, I can't hear this like there's nothing i don't know there's no like so it's like alex a... spent like five hours of his life standing here going <laughs> 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 you're like come in the middle of the night he's like <laughs> it, but it's like a it's like a really nice track like yeah. holy moly yeah. it's yeah. really nice yeah, well, yeah. That is, uh, i did a couple of things to actually the board yeah it has foam in it and all kinds of stuff that's why it slides so nice oh, wow. so yeah, i had to do some tricks to it so. and what are the finishes on uh like the panels and your in your cabinetry yeah. down here uh so, and, and the countertop itself so this is all laminated okay on um lightweight plywood marine grade plywood awesome and this is actually a new finish from wilson, wilson art, art and it's fingerprintless laminate so it will never have a so it never has fingerprints. It's a super matte finish. It's, yeah, it's super matte. Okay. And that's what we were. We we want to try out materials that we could offer to our clients and see if they work. Again, it's a super cheap product. Is yeah. what you guys are telling me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, sarcasm heavily <laughs> there. This stuff is not. I will say though, um, it's a great product if you're like if you're dying for the look. But in terms of like getting dirty and if I feel like it could stain pretty easily. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. It's just so matte. If you know anything about like matte. Like, yeah. It's just, it, it's going to stain and it's going to hold on blood or like yeah. whatever. You can get it out. It's just a little bit yeah. harder than versus a regular laminate. Yeah, yeah. with a little bit of a sheen, you can still go matte, but this is like ultra matte. Hey, magic erasers, they work wonders, right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. We love it. Yeah. The, <laughs> the countertop, yeah. Super cool. This is a new product. It's also laminated. It's a self-healing laminate. Okay. So if self you do a surface scratch on it, you'd be able to like put a rag on it with some heat and it will mend itself. Interesting. Yeah. It's An pretty iron. Cool. An iron, iron. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to flip around to your other side. Yeah. Uh, we have this. I would say three and a half foot, give or take. What do you got? <laughs> Should have Probably 36 inches. Yeah, 36 <laughs> inches. We're gonna, we'll just leave it at that. And what kind of sink is this? It's a composite sink. Yes. Uh, I was going to say that, but I was assuming. I yeah. don't want to assume. And it's um, like the bar sink size. Model, right. Yeah, yeah Whatever it, it is. perfect. We're totally happy with it. Yeah, it's plenty have, deep. Yeah, we have a soap dispenser, which is a requirement. And, you know, it's hose. And then this is the... That's um, a clean water. Faucet. And then, um, yeah, drinking a clean water. drinking water. It's uh, filtered with UV and charcoal. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And check out our new handles. We came up with ours. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's duct tape. tape. Oh, it's duct tape. You have duct tape handles right now? We have. We get, we're we getting our knobs custom made. Yeah. Okay. And they have not arrived yet. So, so I pressured we, you to do this before the handles came in. Awesome. Yeah, that's okay. So you can blame that one on me. That's okay. <laughs> you have uh, two controllers for your Max Air, and then you have something else up here. What is? What are they? Yeah, that's a. Uh, I think it's called a hydrometer. Yeah, I guess um, so. I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not from around here. <laughs> don't get any support with that. So yeah, it has the temperature and also has the humidity in here. Wow. Yeah, which we really like the humidity part because, I mean, we came from Atlanta, so it's just fun to like watch what's happening here. And obviously it's important to know what your humidity is. Absolutely. Right? And I mean, it tells you like what the highest, let's say yeah. how hot it got the highest. So we can actually know like when we leave yeah. air in the van as an next mm -hmm. thing and we're not in here, you can actually see how hot it got. Really nifty. And this is just a side weird note, but this is like, Oh. That, that's highly necessary. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's such a, like, one of those, like, silly little things that people are going to be like, uh, yeah, why didn't we do that? Yeah. You know how many times we've hit our, like, heads oh, yeah. on that? That, like, 
it hurts. Yeah. So what did you guys come up with that or is that like an actual thing that it sold? Off of Amazon. They're like yeah. child protectors. Yeah. Oh, child okay. Yeah, that, yeah. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah, we're all they children. They fit perfectly on the cabinet. Yeah. Awesome. And yeah. trust me, if you hit your head on that, you can gouge your head pretty easily. We didn't really like round corners and round cabinets and all that. I'm yeah. Like square. I, I came from the minimal world mm -hmm. building furniture and then they are all square. So yeah. that's what that is. This is interesting and we're, you can kind of explain more about this, but like your whole couch and I know it turns into something else and then um, we're going to go into all that. This is how it is during the day. That's how we are. We hang out like this. These have, we have both have a oh, look at chicken that. table that is very strong and does not rattle when we drive. So it's like two <laughs> leafs, I guess, right? Is what they're called, I guess? Is that what they are? Leafs? Um, the, the tables. They're just called, um... I don't know what they are. <laughs> just flip tables? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flip tables. That's I'll think about that. <laughs> but they can hold. They can hold a lot of weight. Is what you're talking. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Don't sit on it. <laughs> You can put your laptop on. Oh, fair enough. And eat, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. And then this is your bench. This is where you guys hang out daytime or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Uh, and then it also converts into. A bed. A bed. You don't have to convert it, but yeah. Those are under bed lights. <laughs> That's low, dude. So sorry, As he's converting all of this, that was kind of uh, interesting. We were playing with the lights, so we got to see everything. You even had lights underneath. Yeah, here. we yeah. have ground lights. Interesting. Stay up there. <laughs> so that's our bed. So that's the bed. You just converted yeah. the bed. Yeah. So you yeah. sleep front to back. Yeah, we sleep long ways. Long and ways. And then we have a board that actually goes yeah. right here. There will be a board or there is a board and then we just throw those cushions right there and then she can sleep there or... Or you can when you get kicked out of the bed. Exactly. Yep. Exactly. Or I, I was going to say a child <laughs> if there was ever a child in the mix. Yep. Let's say we want to have a relaxing Sunday. We just take this down and have the board still in here and then we just have a little lounge. A lounge. Area, yeah, yeah, that works too. Awesome. That's that. I mean, it's a, honestly, it's a nifty idea to have uh, three in a van. I guess you could say, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah just different when you're in the van for a long time. It's yeah. nice to have different places to sit. Yes, 100. <laughs> percent Because I actually thought you guys slept this way. I did not realize that that no. whole thing slides that out that way. Number one question at the Tiny Home Same. Festival. Yeah. And I just started telling everybody that came in because they were like, "We're so curious. Like, are you guys just like rolling up and sleeping in the mattresses like that?" I'm like, "No. No. <laughs> we all have some way of sleeping on a normal mat size mattress." And as you guys are seeing right now. Alex is just like flipping that whole uh, thing down. When that is up, is there access to the back or is there another board back there? Yeah. Right okay. Here? So, yeah, yeah there's no way to get into one. the back. Yeah, yeah, you can't get in the back. That's where actually the electronics then hang. That's right. Okay. Yeah. And the bed frame, we uh, saw this in the back, but the bed frame is 8020 aluminum, yeah. I believe. Yeah. I, I like to use 8020 because it's just so functional. It's, you can do with, so much with it. It's pretty easy to work. It's lightweight. Lightweight. Super yeah, lightweight. Super strong. So then up here, we have a little projector that hangs right there. Yeah. And not only that, you have another feature oh. that I'm in love with, but we'll talk about that. Yeah, Hi, and, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. And then Daisy. we pull this down. Oh, it's backwards. It's backwards. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> and that's actually, we why don't you guys show me how that kind of uh, uh, there you go because yeah. that was like super nifty how you guys did that. <laughs> this, this is like the cheapest and fastest fix, and I have never changed it. We were going on a trip, and she really wanted to have the screen, so I made something really quick, and it worked so great. But it doesn't look good. It's just <laughs> plastic riveted but, but it works it works it so works I great it, but at one point it's going to be okay. but yeah we just pull this down and then we watch tv and then you you can put like a projector right there you yeah, said that's where we have the projector it's a small yeah little. jenny you were supposed to send me the link to that and you never oh, did it says, well i because it's 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 not good well, oh yeah, we are, like i said <laughs> yeah. we are testing all this stuff out and this one we are not so happy with no um, they're, no they're not like updating it so it's it's it has like a lot of potential um it has netflix already downloaded on it okay and that's how that all works huh yeah you just have there's um oh look at that there's a little ball in there what's that's... great about it is that it's usb powered yeah oh so, uh, so you, you charge it yeah unless you just we have a usb uh right here look at those she's getting into there's all these cubby holes right here what do you mean? yeah it's okay it's okay yeah, yeah. and um yeah we just plug it up lids. and so we can watch endless <laughs> amount <laughs> i love television. these two 
All right, so before we exit the vehicle and we kind of just chit chat some more, uh, the wall is, I don't know what this is actually, now it's that I'm- It's a secret printed sauce. vinyl. It's a secret sauce? <laughs> it's a secret sauce. Uh, as, as she just said, uh, vinyl. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> um, all right, so it's a secret sauce vinyl and it's really well, like there's actually texture to it. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really, really high quality. We wanted to do something a little bit different on the walls and have different options for people. So there's like, 70 different prints you could find. Oh my. But the great thing about it is it's super durable. So it's bleach cleanable. Okay. So solvents. Light solvents you can yeah. clean with. I mean, it's bulletproof and it's seamless. It's not, it's, it is seamless. I can't see the seams, you're right. And you, there is like seams, it's- seams, but you can't see. I can't see them. <laughs> but it's, uh, what I was gonna say is it's not easy to apply, I'm assuming. <laughs> Alex what is doing, easy in building just... man life? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually true. In Germany, when he was a kid, they applied well, uh, a lot of things. If you grew up <laughs> with the German family, I wallpapered growing up, starting age six, probably until I was 18. Yeah, <laughs> at least two rooms a month. <laughs> Oh my! My mom would change He's wallpaper like that tomorrow. <laughs> and I learned it that way, yeah. But this is not wallpaper, let me say. And then I'm gonna segue into the skylight now. We have just a view of your roof, <laughs> which is okay. <laughs> Where did you get it? Because I just did a tour with my friend Paya and she has a skylight as well. And she had to get hers from the UK and she had to like fake an address and do all this stuff. Where can, can oh, wow. people find these skylights? Yeah, so yeah. this one is from the UK. But, oh, it is. Um, Turn Overland is the company in America that sells them. Turn Overland. Yes. Yeah. Is, is there a long lead time? I mean, it depends on how many you want to order, but yeah. no, they, they, they have them stocked typically. Oh, okay. Unless obviously they sell out of them. You guys are a company, you're a dealer, so obviously you get them in bulk, I'm assuming, but these are super nifty. I yeah. like them yeah. so much. Like if I could reach oh, it is electric. Yeah. Holy Christmas. And then you do have a light there, but we, That's we horrible. turn it on. <laughs> If, no! if, if we are like, if you want to wake somebody up in the yeah, morning, seriously, like, wow. Especially you hung over, Jenny turns the light on, you're like, oh my God, I'm dead now. All right, and has dual screens, has a bug and a blackout, yeah, I'm yeah. assuming. There's your bug, awesome. Blackout. And blackout, perfect. Yeah. That is so nifty. You guys are lying in bed, your heads are on this side, you're scargazing or looking mm -hmm. up at a, a roof <laughs> for we are right now, but my goodness, what a good idea. Yeah. So you guys on your roof, if I'm stand corrected, you have a skylight, two max air fans, and 365? What? Lots of solar on there. I mean, it does help that you have a 170, but holy crap, that's a lot up there. It, it, it took there. some figuring out getting this all on there, but. Well, that's the thing that people don't understand is like, you not only have to design the inside space that we're in, but you have to design oh, yeah. what's up on the roof. And it's all like where it's positioned. I wanted the skylight to be as far as back as possible because we want to look out. Yeah, it was kind of tricky. We had to do some welding and some other things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where can we find you? I'm assuming at this point we've put over uh your you guys don't have a website but i put your instagram there um but also uh, like let's just say it at the end so we can find you some more how can we find you yeah so we're currently working on our website but until that's ready uh you can find us on instagram at Terra X dot build mm -hmm. that would probably be the best way to contact us as of now you can shoot you a dm yeah okay great. your website when it is done because uh let's face it this video is going to be up for however long you know your website eventually is going to be launched yeah, it'll really be the soon same. it's terrax.build as well terrax.build yeah. no comms no nets no nope, nothing dot build, dot build. Yeah. perfect terrax.build as well as your instagram is terrax.build that's actually some smart marketing. Right? Would you believe that? <laughs> <laughs> There's a Fox Shocks. I know you love your banners there, Alex. Yeah, yeah. Do you also install Fox Shocks? We yeah. don't install them. We have Agile do it for us. Okay. But, uh, Shout out to Agile Off-Road. Yeah. There you go. We have it on this vehicle. We have the rip kit on it. You have the rip kit? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we love it. Yeah. Love it. So that, that put tires, that put a lift, that put, that's why it's so high. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the rip kit, if people don't know what that is, that's ride improvement performance, yeah. also known as rip also known as RIP, but it's phenomenally done at our, our Agile Off-Road. Oh, we love it, and yeah, they did a phenomenal job. Yeah, and you guys can feel the difference in swaying yeah. when driving, I'm assuming, right? Yeah. So I do do that, like obviously, when a client orders something from you guys, you guys can do customizations up the wazoo, whatever you want done yeah. to it, right? Yeah. Contact Terra X, 
for all of your needs and get quotes. You do quotes, I'm assuming. Yeah. And you guys are working on a whole bunch of other projects. Mm -hmm. You have another van in the parking lot behind us. Mm -hmm. Possibly have a client, or can I even say that, yeah, coming next, in? Next Possibly, week yeah. is one. More than, <laughs> more than likely. Yeah. And then, yeah, I know you guys are lining things up quick. So mm -hmm. you want to get a slot in with Terra X and you're in the Southern California. You don't have to, you can be anywhere. Yeah. But one of our last vans, they were Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Do you have connections with dealerships in the area? Not really. Okay. Yeah. But we can work with it. Yeah. I mean, we have. I mean, we know them. You know what I mean. We're, sure. We don't have any set up um, partnerships as of now. But if they needed a van, we could. I would. We would definitely be able to help help them get one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna probably go have some beers with um, with Alex and Jenny right now yes, from Tara. Let's do it. <laughs> it's uh, not beer. <laughs> What's that? Not Hard beer. kombucha. Well, that's yeah. fine too. Oh, June Yeah. Another shout out to another company I'm not yeah. sponsored yeah. by. You're welcome. Um, June Shine is amazing. Uh, so I'm down for that. It is Friday, but you guys are about to take off uh, and do a weekend trip. So enjoy yourselves. Yeah. Thank you. Anything else you guys would like to, to give a shout out to? No. No. That's it. Oh my God, we're done. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you later. Peace.